we believe very deeply in the central importance of human rights. Um, we see uh, uh, in our part of the world that even though in many countries we have generalized epidemics, in those very same countries we have very strong concentrated epidemics. Uh, and those concentrate, the numbers associated with those concentrated epidemics are the kinds of numbers that we only see in sub-Saharan Africa um, and higher. So even though we are the region with the second highest prevalence in the world, when you talk about the, pre pre the prevalence among populations that we are concerned with, uh, sex workers, drug users, prisoners, men who have sex with men, young people in especially difficult circumstances, um, youth, um, you find that there are that the, that the infection rates are even higher, and that there's a link between the lack of respect for their rights and their infection rates, and that plays out when you get into individual stories and individual programs. You begin to see very clearly the interconnection between social exclusion and structural vulnerabilities, and people's choices or people's inability to make choices, um, and people's inability or ability to access services in the same way as the general population. So for us, it's a central driver and a central barrier to, 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 to addressing HIV. For further information on human rights, HIV AIDS, and to endorse now more than ever the joint statement, visit www.hivhumanrightsnow.org.